Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. When testing the latest version of CMU 1.11.5 compared to the previous one for Breath of the Wild, I also focused on shader loading times and loading in general. The reason for this is because the changelog stated reduced shader compile time and RAM usage for Nvidia GPUs. Let's take a look at my findings. The test on screen between CMU 1.11.4 and 1.11.5 shows a full shader compilation and how long it took per version. These initial trials were done using a ready compiled GL cache, so this was not the first shader compilation. The Nvidia driver in use here was 390.77 and accurate shader mul equals min was edited into the game profile. The time shown in seconds does indeed display that 1.11.5 loads the cache quicker than 1.11.4 by nearly 20 seconds. However, there is an as yet unexplained long black loading screen in 1.11.5, which takes nearly 25 seconds to reach the menu compared to 1.11.4, which went from full shader to menu in 10 seconds, actually leading to a potentially negligible difference of five seconds between versions. So whilst the shader compile time was quicker, it was negated by the extended black screen leading to no actual benefit. Whilst I personally don't mind the loading times displayed here, it is interesting. Later, I came to realize that these times were actually quite slow in comparison to my following findings. I updated my Nvidia GPU to the latest version, which as of this content is 391.01, .01, which also requires a fresh build of the cache and tried the tests again, this time checking both first time shader compile times as well as the total time it takes to get in game across both CMU versions from loading Breath of the Wild to getting into the world. First time geocache shader building was identical across versions at around 6.5 minutes using a shader count of 9723, so no difference there. However, with a fresh GPU driver the overall times were significantly lower. Whether this was due to the driver or not, I'm not convinced, however, the results were still interesting. After multiple repeated tests, the numbers slowly decreased each time until they plateaued at a surprising 1 minute 10 seconds for CMU 1.11.4 from game load to game play in comparison to the slower 1.11.5 at 1 minute 25 seconds. This series of tests showed no difference across versions in shader compile time but the one consistent result was the 25 second black screen that's been introduced in CMU 1.11.5. Naturally, take all tests and results with a pinch of salt and seek multiple examples before making any final conclusions, but these are my personal results on my system. As for reduced committed RAM, once in game, my system across both CMU versions sat at an identical 10.5 gigabytes of total committed RAM, so no difference there. And that was on both the previous and current Nvidia driver. The change log also mentioned a quicker input window, which I can confirm is a pleasant improvement in 1.11.5. As a final note, for those of you concerned about updating GPU drivers, I saw no negative impact caused by 391.01, as some have stated, but remember, it will lead to a fresh GL cache being required, which for me always leads to the need for DDU to remove and install GPU drivers as well as GeForce Experience, which I do in safe mode. Otherwise, my cache refuses to build cleanly and accurately in the sense that once built, you'll potentially have in-game stutter, at least in my case. So keep that in mind. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. And as always, if you enjoy my content and want to see more, subscribe.